trying to find his safe deposit box. That was my idea. I read it in a magazine and told Sandy. After your sister located her husband's box, what did she do? Nothing. I told her it was time to move to file the papers, but she was terrified of Michael. Move to strike, Your Honor. Uh, Miss O'Brien is not a mind reader, and anything her sister told her is hearsay. Your Honor, sisters are certainly capable of interpreting each other's moods. I'll allow that, but to keep Mrs. Dobson's words out of it. How did your sister act, Miss O'Brien? If I mentioned Michael's name, I could see her get all tight. <sighs> Ever since she was a, a little girl, she used to twirl her hair when, when she would get upset. A few months ago, I noticed she was pulling hairs out. I showed her. After that, she wore her hair up. When was the last time you talked to Mr. Dobson? After the custody hearing. I wanted to visit the children. You called him. He told me if I tried to see the children again, he would make me regret it. That I ought to know by now he knew how to take care of people who tried to take his children away from him. And you took that as a threat? Of course. He shot my sister. Move to strike. Non-responsive. Sustained. Jury will disregard. No further questions. So, you're saying that despite the fact your sister never took any step toward getting a divorce, you could tell that she wanted to because she changed her hairstyle? She told me she wanted one. I see, really. Miss O'Brien, aren't you desperate to see Mr. Dobson convicted because you feel guilty? No. Because over his objection, you ordered an operation that led to your sister's death. The doctor said it might relieve the pressure on her brain. The doctors advised you not to have the operation. I couldn't let him get away with it. I see. Now, as for this alleged threat, didn't Mr. Dobson merely ask to be allowed to live in peace with his own children? In peace? What did he do to Jessica to make her lie? Mr. Brian. In front of the baby, he threatened Mr. Sandy. Mr. Brian, the same way he threatened me. They should know. Impassioned relatives, they do impress a jury. Gun helps, too. Suggesting the possibility that Dobson shot her without putting her to the trouble of running another ballistic test. Unless you're unlucky enough to find the gun. If they find it, it will match. Dobson's claiming it was stolen a year ago. Convenient. I think the jury will see it that way. Yes. Detective Logan, urgent. Yeah, he was picked up with a knife in Alphabet City after two drug tourists from Jersey got stabbed last week. So he spent the next day at the 1-5. He got shipped to Central Booking, then Rikers, then he got lost for 48 hours until somebody listened to a story and mailed him here. What's he looking at, a salt one? He prefers the climate downstate. Who's out there, your boss? Yeah. Hi, President Clinton. Go ahead, tell it. You cut me a little slack, I give you a killer. Who are we talking about, Joey? Robin. Like Robin Williams, you know, the guy's all the time jokey. It's very annoying. He's one of your customers? An acquaintance who likes to ride downtown, smack express. When he's not doped up, he's a stick-up kid. What, armed robberies? Yeah. A couple of months ago, he has his party at his place. Heroin for him, beer for anybody else who can climb the stairs. Told me he was celebrating. Told me he took off some lady in Riverside Drive in a BMW. That ring any bells with you? Did you see any of this lady's stuff? Yeah, he's waving around a purple scarf. Told me he was going to save it for after his sex change operation. He was talking like, hello, Joseph. Annoying. Very funny. I don't believe this. It's your call, counselors. She had on a beige dress. What does it matter what she was wearing? When your sister left here, did she have any kind of scarf? Yes, uh, silk mauve. Oh, it wasn't with her clothes at the hospital. Do you have it? Mauve, that's like purple, right? Does Michael have it? Does someone else have it? 
We don't know that. Oh, my God. I killed Sandy for nothing. Police, open up! You're gonna have to knock louder than that. A junkie named Robin? Not anymore. He died Tuesday. Hepatitis. Uh, these people don't take care of themselves. Is all this his stuff? Mm-hmm. What do you do, knock off a video store? Oh, you like TV. This is my Christmas tip. The rest, I don't even want to touch. I'm getting it clean tomorrow. Yeah, well, we get first dibs. Look at this. What do you got there? White jacket. How exactly do you get hepatitis? You kept this nice and clean, 32. That's not a Ruger. No, a Colt. You don't think we're going to owe Dobson an apology, do you? I hope Hallmark makes the right card. American Express and Visa, Sandra Dobson. In the light of new information developed by the police, the people withdraw the charge against Michael Dobson. Charge is dismissed. Bail is exonerated. You're free to go, sir. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Thanks. This is over. <laughs> Still not worth the money. No, come on. <laughs> come on, let's get a drink. I've never been in this situation. You'll get over it. Well, well, that ends well, huh, McCoy? I gotta pick up the kids now. Oh, thanks to you. No alimony. McCoy! You gotta see this. I found the tape in Robin's apartment. It's a local cable show. <clears throat> That's Robin. And there's these cotton balls at the top of the bottles. And, like, you know, they're really useful when you shoot it. So A junkie it, comedian? It's nuts. Ever hear Lenny Bruce? Should we Lenny say Bruce never shot cotton. anybody on Riverside Drive. <laughs> Are we really quitting, or should we save the cotton? <laughs> I've seen worse. Wait, it gets better. You've been great, man. Yeah, okay. Thanks a lot. Yeah, happy to be here. Don't worry about it. Get out. Let's go on Avenue C. Huh? All right, yeah, scram. Dobson. Robin Winner, give me a nice hand. Robin Winner. Okay. They taped the show at his hey, club a year ago. Next up on Open Mic Live is. The police checked phone records, Dobson's bank account, the store where Robin cashed his welfare checks. They interviewed Dobson's friends, Robin's friends, the people at the club. They couldn't find any other connection. Meeting, conversation between Dobson and Robin, nothing. You think it's just a coincidence? Killer appeared at a club owned by the victim's husband. No. But even if I could retry him, I couldn't convict. He didn't leave a trail. Hmm. <laughs> Smart. Lucky. Or innocent. 